Live Center, we are staying on top of that breaking news out of Greece after 36 people were killed and dozens were injured after a passenger train carrying more than 350 people collided with a freight train. This is a live look at the scene right now. You can see workers there. Obviously, it is later in the evening. Tents are set up at the site, but I want to show you what this all looked like earlier today. Greece's prime minister vowing to find out what caused this collision. He says one thing I can guarantee we will find out the causes of this tragedy and do everything in our power to make sure this never happens again. Also this afternoon, we're learning Greek authorities have arrested the station manager of a train station in the city of Larissa. That is where the crash, near where that crash happened. Also, Greece's transport minister announced his resignation earlier today, saying the railway system in Greece is not up to 21st century standards. Our efforts have not been sufficient enough to prevent such a bad incident. It was a terrible one, Michelle, thanks. Norfolk Southern Railroad CEO is expected to testify next week before a Senate committee about the Ohio train derailment. The Senate's Environment and Public Works Committee is expected to hold an oversight hearing on the toxic train derailment this month. Meanwhile, Republicans are gearing up for an investigation in the House aimed directly at the Biden administration's response to the crisis. Local food pantries are Overnight, the smoldering wreckage of a fiery head-on collision, the deadliest train crash Greece has ever seen. A crowded passenger train with about 350 people on board and a freight train colliding on the same track. The passenger train traveling from the capital of Athens to the northern city of Thessaloniki. We heard a big bang, this passenger says, 10 nightmarish seconds. He continues, there was panic, it was chaos, people screaming, people trapped. This passenger was in the fourth carriage. We broke the window with our backs. I saw sparks and flames on the sides of the window. The first four cars of the passenger train derailed, the first two catching fire almost completely destroyed. Working through the night, Greek media reports more than 150 firefighters and 40 ambulances, even cranes, were on the scene. It comes as the railway safety in the country has been under scrutiny. A 2022 European Union report showing that Greece had the highest overall railway fatality rate among the 29 countries studied, the seventh highest for passengers. This latest accident bringing the issue back into the spotlight as first responders continue the search for survivors.
Leave a comment and share this video with your friends. With daily uploads, there will always be a conversation.